The story begins after the end of the Tournament of Power, directly in the atmosphere of planet Earth. As usual, Goku continues his practical productions by farming and taking care of his farm. He was forcefully assigned by Chi-Chi to carry out these tasks after focusing on his tournament. After the end of work, Goku went straight to his house while Shishi was in the kitchen, looking like he had just arrived, wondering about food. Five minutes later, the family sat enjoying some delicious food. However, Goku was more busy taking care of his training session. Therefore, he immediately thought about heading to Bulma Company in order to obtain a training license in the gravity vehicle. Meanwhile, in Zeno's palace, discussions began between Zinkhan and Zeno-sama about the atmosphere that took place at the Tournament of Power and how Goku improved with his transformations. They admired this character. Zen-chan, it's clear that Goku has evolved to a great extent. I think I should summon him to become a ruler alongside us. It will be really fun. After Zeno came to the idea that Goku had achieved greater gains in power, he thought about making him the ruler of all, especially near Zeno's palace. Thus, the priest was restored to participate in this idea. Of course the priest could only implement Zeno's requests and think immediately after finding a way to bring Kakarado, Wis was informed that he was in charge of the seventh universe. Wis headed towards Earth without any explanation, and Goku was brought to Zeno's place. What? The ruler of all existence? This is really terrible! Goku was amazed by Wisa's words and was transported directly to Zeno's palace. Welcome Zeno-sama. It's been a long time. What makes you bring me here? Well Goku, we've been discussing your energy status, which we really enjoyed, and in the tournament, we've been thinking about making you the ruler of all existence. Zeno seemed pleased with his idea. While the priest secretly implied that Goku did not have enough responsibility for such a position, Goku is nervous after receiving this idea. He felt hesitant about issuing approval or rejection. What's this? Does Zeno really want me to be ruler? What is the purpose of that, I wonder? This will take away my absolute freedom. Well Zeno, what's the point which makes you think about it? I was impressed with your performance in the tournament. And it turned out that you were a competitor to the level of the referees with superior instinct. This idea was supported by Zeno's counterpart. It seemed that the two were betting on motivating Goku to agree. While well, I'm confused about this decision, I don't know what I will say. You can train with the priest, thus you will become strong and equal to this status. You will also have the opportunity to discover the rest of the strange universes and know about the most powerful rulers in each existence. Goku thought for a moment, and expressions of approval began to appear on him little by little. He tried to analyze this situation until his answer is as follows. Well, I agree. I will be a very strong ruler, and I will protect the future of this life. Whis was surprised by Goku's decision, and Zeno responded by saying, That's good. You can now return to the seventh universe. Tomorrow training with the priest will begin. Goku directed Zeno and headed straight to Earth with the shocking news. While everyone is celebrating Bala's birthday, Goku introduces his saying. Hello everyone I have amazing news for you. Hello dad, where have you been? Well, actually, I was in discussion with Governor Zeno, and I was assigned the task of assuming the position of ruler, and not only that, but ruler of all the rulers of destruction. The rest of the companions were astonished, and it seemed that the person most surprised by this news was Vegeta. He did not believe again that Goku will be higher in rank than him. Every time he tries to excel, he finds that Goku always comes up with an unexpected motive. Kakarot, how you got that position? Vegeta, I don't believe it either, it was just a coincidence, but with this decision, believe me, we can protect the earth and have opportunities to defend this entire universe. After the end of the ceremony in convincing Vegeta, Goku came out. He went out with his family to the amusement park. After hanging around for a while, Goku decided to take a break in preparation for the training he would receive tomorrow. The two proceeded directly towards Zeno. A suitable place had been allocated for training. Goku was pleased with his referee uniform. Goku was considered a royal fighter, receiving the strictest training and instructions to determine his actual level. The two began training on Goku's basic rule without any changes, in order to gradually increase the intensity. After approximately 30 minutes of rest, training began again, but this time the focus would be on the aspect of Goku's position. Where the priest claimed that he would begin teaching Goku the technique of moving between universes, which is more effective compared to teleportation, 
which depends only on sensing a lateral force. The priest came forward out of pride in what Goku had presented, on the basis that the situation that is happening with him now indicates that Goku is more enthusiastic as he is striving to protect his universe and take care of his responsibility. The priest set about updating Goku's abilities until he achieved the instinct again. After the latest update with heroism, there are some strict rules applied to angels, which are not to comply with anything related to flight. Therefore, after every update in power, Goku tried to continue breaking his established rules for the benefit of his position. After the end of training and production of his last form, the Daishinkan and Zeno organized a massive meeting of all the ruling classes, and that time all rulers of destruction and all fighters of universes was brought in order to announce the new ruler of this existence. Well, everyone, I want to thank you for coming. From now on, you will see another system of universal leadership that will be developed from the new ruler Goku. Wow, this is what I was looking for. He is a good ruler of all the angels. What? Goku? How did this happen? Goku appeared at this moment in his luxurious suit and in his new appearance. Seriousness was evident on his features. Well, Beerus, in fact, it was Governor Zeno's idea. Apparently, a decision was made to come as a surprise to everyone. It is an amazing moment for everyone. No one has been able to document this. The idea is with a kind of logic. Goku is more naive, but now he is more wise and experienced. Goku stood as a mediator between all the rulers, claiming to say, Thank you all. I will take care of my job as the new governor and will work hard to organize everything. This is what we actually want. Congratulations, Goku. Now everyone you can return to your stable. The pattern of governance will be changed from now on. After a short time, Goku thought about traveling to Universe 11 in order to meet Jiren, while Jiren at the moment was busy training with his angel. Goku in his new position which allowed him to move at high speed to Universe 11. After his arrival, Tokpo was surprised by his arrival to this place, especially since Tokpo's team was not there to meet Goku in his previous meeting. The situation was explained in detail, and Jiren understood that Goku was more delicate than before. In fact, Jiren, I came to see you if you are continuing with your training. I am thirsty to measure your level after all. The rest of the companions reacted with their astonishment at what Goku had done in his success in reaching this position. He had become very strong, not with an efficiency that could be measured above the level of angels, but at least it could be considered as their true level, in any case, the goal that Goku came from. His time has come true. After visiting his former opponent, he returned to his homeland and apologized to the priest for moving without his permission, but the truth is that he does not need to apologize. No problem Goku, you are a ruler after all. Okay, that's good. I want to talk to Zeno. I'm busy organizing the Tournament of Universes, so I headed to Universe 11 to see if Jiren was interested in training. The priest was not happy with Goku's idea, but he had no choice. The idea of the tournament was proposed to Zeno, and he agreed to this option, given his childish personality, as he loves to have fun, just like Goku. Wow, this is what I was really waiting for. Now the power of the warriors of the universes can be discovered. On planet Beerus, it seems that the prince took the training path again with Whis, especially since he received the news that Goku had become ruler, so he felt frustrated and struggled hard to reach the power of Kakarado, but what happened now was something that was unexpected, as the Daishinkan suddenly appeared and everyone rushed out of respect, and Wis wondered why his father had come. Hello everyone, well Wis, you must understand that my service has become somewhat disturbed after Goku took over my position, and for this reason, an order was issued by Goku to inform all universes that the Tournament of Power will be held soon. Beerus and Vegeta were shocked by this news, which could hold dangerous secrets, so the priest intervened by saying, Yes, but it is worth noting that the erasure laws will be repealed, as they are a challenge to stronger rulers and candidates for power only. The decision announced by Governor Goku was not limited to annoying Beerus, but it seems that the rest of the ruling class has shuddered at this idea. The priest moved to inform the rest of the universe. What do you say? I think I will give up my position. Well Champa, don't worry, the winner will get a big prize. This is a big deal for you. You can adapt as an equal to any ruler. The rest of the rulers came up with the idea, and Belmod seemed confident in himself. This is interesting, there are several accounts I want to clear with some scum. Don't be too arrogant Belmod, don't forget that Goku has instinct too. After the priest announced Goku's idea to all the universes, 
he went to Zeno's place where Goku appeared to be settled in his throne near Zeno. All the instructions were perfect and Goku was excited to see how he organized a fight between the rulers. It seems that planning for the tournament of power is based on evaluating the warriors one by one, meaning that Goku relies on the rulers of destruction to measure his levels, as all of them will participate. The rulers of destruction in one match to produce one winner, and then the matches will be held directly between Goku and the victorious ruler. This will make their encounter something great and more exciting as well. Okay Zeno, we will hold this tournament tomorrow. I will pay a visit to the seventh universe. Goku started using the technique of moving across universes and conducted a side interview in Beerus universe. Hey Goku, you seem even more strange. What made you think about the ruler's championship? Whis, you know that I am in a higher position than you, and therefore I understand more what I am saying. I'm starting to lose my temper. You are an idiot. You have committed a crime against the universe. Are you fully aware that Zeno is not aware of what he is doing? The proof of that is that he originally thought about making you ruler, you idiot. You were apparently affected by my job. You are a ruler of destruction after all. Well, I will participate in this tournament as well. This is what we want Beerus. I will have a fight with the strongest ruler. It is clear that Vegeta cannot bear the idea that Goku is a king after he received statements that belittle his status. He decided to have a fight with Goku. However, Goku tried to get along with Vegeta's mentality and curb his energy to support him morally. The level of the current prince does not please Goku's appearance. Therefore, let us say that Goku has been lenient in his behavior. This moment is to convince Vegeta. No matter how much you think about progress Goku, do not forget that I am the Prince of Scion. Give me time and you will see who I am. That's for sure. Let's make our meeting very soon. Now, Wes, we can get ready tomorrow. Today I'll be hanging out in the Earth's atmosphere. Bye guys, see you soon. After Goku arrived and informed the comrades, the comrades were shocked to receive this news, which terrified everyone for fear of being wiped out after the loss. However, Goku's situation with Zeno now has eased this fear, because there is no need to worry as long as Goku is stable in his angelic position, not by force, but by his actual position. Dad, I'm concerned that standing too close to this so-called Zeno might pose a threat to the universe. Goku tried to reassure his son Gotten, and it was pointed out that everything was in his hands now. The duo headed home and soon the two were having dinner. Goku seemed preoccupied with the events of the tournament that would take place on the next day. After the expected time has arrived, Goku set off, heading directly towards Zeno, and everyone was preparing for this moment. All categories of referees were present. Zeno was filled with happiness in this match, while Beerus was more annoyed with Goku. Everyone set off to the target place in the tournament. It was not limited to the universes that implicitly participated in championship is strength, but the rest of the rulers are ahead of all of them, in addition to the strongest fighter from each universe. Welcome everyone. I congratulate you on your honorable arrival, which brings us together again in one center. By order of Master Goku and with the intellectual support of Zeno, this tournament will be organized, which will bring together the rulers in a group fight as a start. Firstly, it must be noted that the tournament was planned with the motive of appointing the strongest referees versus the strongest fighter, meaning that the referee war will end with one winner, who will qualify to fight against Goku. Well guys, the rules are known. You have to make sure to limit your fighting inside the ring. The use of the power of destruction is strictly prohibited. The loser, of course, will not see damage in the end, but the winner will get his Super Dragon Ball wish fulfilled. Now go! The fight began as soon as the tournament began. It seemed that the most targeted rulers were Weiss and Vados. It is good to say that they are the two strongest kings ever, as they caused annoyance to the rest of their opponents. Referring to Belmud, he made it clear through his previous confidence that he is more competent in this tournament. He formed an attack based on his magical technique, which covered the movements of the other rulers. The fight did not continue to focus on one aspect only, but then the performance of Governor Pyrrhus was designated as the best performance after he freed his techniques, which left every fighter. Beerus and Belmod struggled and something very strange happened. Wiss and Vados were defeated by one of the referees, who was unidentified. But the strange thing is that he stopped fighting as soon as he defeated them. A brutal battle now remained, but the following decision was issued. Okay, stop now. You all did well, but there is an issue with this result. 
I would like to fight Goku because I don't have to fight the rest of the members, as they are just trivial people to me. What? And who are you to issue orders? Until now, you are still a mystery to us. Why did you think of hiding your identity? Listen to me, Goku. I don't like arguments. You shouldn't be afraid of me. The strange intruder replied that he would be given the ability to win balls if Goku defeated him. Here Goku was surprised and said, Who told you that you can give me this ability? Because I am the king and I can act however I want. The priest was surprised by this matter and then thought that this intruder actually had a high status and might be the owner of the Super Balls. The stranger did not reveal his identity and said that he would give Goku the opportunity to complete the tournament, but in the end he had to fight this person until he knew the extent of his strength. All the rulers disagreed to reach this result, which was in favor of Beerus and Belmont. As they are the last remaining victors of the ruler's championship, and all of this is because they did not subject it to fighting the strange intruder. Each universe must prove its worth in order to fulfill the wish. It is the expected end for both sides. At this moment, only two rulers of destruction remained, as well as one fighter Jiren. Therefore, Goku thought of including Beerus in a fight with Belmod to produce the strongest ruler of destruction. After that, he would be qualified to fight against Jiren, who is considered the strongest ordinary fighter. Indeed, there is competition as it should be. The confrontation was extremely devastating, but for the mysterious being, this was nothing but triviality for him, because he was guilty of certainty that he was capable of burying each of these people to the ground with complete ease. The fight continued for several minutes, and in the end Beerus defeated Belmod, with a tired expression on his face. After that, he qualifies for the finals, which is a fight between him and the fighter Jiren. The competition went as it should and their fight also lasted for a few minutes, but at least at this moment Jiren was significantly better than Belmod. Their blows continued to be exchanged, and Goku was truly impressed by Jiren level, which improved his abilities compared to the previous tournament. The fight continued between the two, and Beerus actually won again, and achieved the title of victory of the seventh universe as the best ruler of destruction over the rest of the fighters. But it is still missing another step, which is the most difficult step of all. Goku will not be fully focused as long as he does not discover the abilities of the mysterious ruler who has not yet lost. Therefore, it will not be included in a fight other than his own. Thus, he prepared against this ruler who said, Well Goku, this is what I wanted. There is no need to confront Beerus, as I am sure I will only expose him to harm. But at least if I hurt you, I will make you learn a lesson, which I will tell you after your loss. I started to feel nervous. This being is so confident. I don't even know his identity. He claimed that I will lose in this fight and that he would teach me a lesson. So what is he hiding in his imagination? Goku was encouraged at this moment and overcame his fears. Indeed, he achieved his transformations quickly and then entered into a fight against the creature. Their blow was so strong even the priest became nervous, fearing that this place would be destroyed, so he tried to resist these blows and ease these blows for others. It could destroy the area. Their fight continued for a few seconds, and this was because Goku was unable to withstand and actually received a shameful blow from this strange creature. Goku was hit very badly and shocked everyone into believing that this person was evil and had bad intentions. Because he dared to hit Goku so fatally, Goku fell with blood covering his body and was unable to move anymore. But the shock was that the enemy intervened and worked to heal Goku, and after that Goku returned to his good health, then the strange creature literally said. Okay Goku, you claim to have become a ruler of kings, but the truth is that you committed a sin, which is that you were deceived by your position and claimed that you would fight the best fighter in the tournament as if you had something that others did not have. So now I have taught you a lesson, which is that you must be humble and work to equal your standing in front of others, even if you are better than them. You are not strong, but you have a position, and I respect your position, but at least learn from this lesson. I am Zalma and I am the owner of Super Balls. I will forgive your action. I am the victor and I have the right to fulfill any wish I want. Everyone went to the target location to retrieve the Super Balls, and everyone stood in a state of preparation to see what King Zalma would achieve. Zalma claimed that he would restore Goku's entire population after defeating him. After fully restoring Planet Vegeta and restoring the past lives of the Scion people, Goku's parents were brought to the desired place that Zalma had made his wish. It is the interview that souls are eager to look forward to. Due to the fact that he was born on Earth under the care of Grandpa Gohan, he was adopted. Goku grew up only knowing Gohan as his father. I'm grateful to you for fighting Goku. This wish is for you. What do you mean Zalma? 
I have no idea what you're saying. Goku had no idea, since he had lost his memory. All that came to mind was that Planet Vegeta had been destroyed. Listen Goku, it's time for me to confess that Planet Vegeta has been restored, and I thought about restoring your parents and all those who died at the hands of Frieza, especially under my orders. Did you cause the destruction of Planet Scion? Yes, I was the cause of the end of your race, Goku. Goku was shocked by this news, as he reacted without hesitation. He lived throughout this period with feelings of spontaneity, ignoring that Zalma had hiddenly violated his rights. Goku let out his anger, it was clear that emotions were mixed inside him. He would have to comprehend and accept this shocking truth. So the priest intervened out of relief and forced Goku to calm down. It's a really tough feeling. Goku was affected by the shock, which could be said to be just a temporary mood swing, given Zalma's idea of bringing back the Scion people. It is an idea that suggests that he would like to fix his background of secrets with Goku. Bardock, I can't believe we're alive. You see, our son has become mature and strong. Well done son. By the way, what brings us to this place and why are we here? Bardock, you can enjoy your time later with Goku by exploring the modern era. A lot has happened, and you will begin to understand it little by little. Goku set off with his family using the teleportation across universes while the others reached their stable. In the atmosphere of planet Earth. After Zalma made the decision to take back Goku's people, this opened another path for Goku to live a new life with his family. Everyone went straight to Goku's resting place. Jin felt proud and excited after she received her first view of planet Earth, especially since the place meant peace of mind and safety. While the family was near Goku's house, Goten seemed to be nearby. This created confusion for Bardock, who saw Goten as a younger version of Kakarado. Goku entered the house directly and met Shishi, ready to receive an inquiry about the absence of the procrastinator. Goku's mother, Jin, walked directly towards Chi-Chi, and the two began to exchange close glances. The circle of acquaintances between relatives expanded, and Jin was happy to discover a new family. Gohan took off in a hurry and came across Bardock and Jin in a state of shock. After the evening came, the two stood discussing Goku's level. In the atmosphere of Zeno's palace, after Zeno was thirsty to make Goku a ruler, he became more attached to anticipating Goku's steps and coexisting with him indirectly, because there is no doubt in saying that Zeno's intentions are generally manifested in making Goku the highest quality of beings, and this thing can be supported as Goku's preference over the status of a priest. As the two continued to watch the earthly atmosphere that brought Goku and Bardock together, the priest seemed to have a look that was opposite to what he held in his heart after he was severely insulted in his position. Feelings of jealousy began to overwhelm him little by little, especially since the priest had become merely a servant at all levels and no longer had a position above other rulers. On planet Earth, as usual, Bardock's exploratory life continues. Goku not only trained Bardock, but decided to make him an official support near his position, of course, in accordance with the terms of training and understanding of the power of the rulers. The two of them set off directly for the planet Beerus. Welcome Goku. Since you got this position, Beerus has become lazy and is even thinking about retiring. Goku decided to assign Whist the task of training Bardock. Bardock was taken to the Chamber of Time, and Goku received an incoming call from Zeno to come immediately. After Goku arrived at Zeno's palace, he took a path to enter directly, leaving the priest in a subdued state. Goku, we've been waiting for your actions on planet Earth. You seem to be having fun with Bardock. That's for sure Zeno. In fact, I was thinking that if I had brought him here, he might have had better training than the priest. The priest felt an increase in anger that Goku's indifference in behaving spontaneously in his work had an adverse effect on the priest, who was guarding his discipline with his principles of governance, and yet he was not receiving attention like what is happening with Goku currently. Well Goku, you may be wondering about the reason for this invitation. We have received a report from one of the kings of the mysterious universes to discover the most powerful rulers. Zeno not only proposed the idea of visiting one of the universes, but the fact is that Goku has received interest from one of the rulers, named Lucia. She invited Goku to attend an interrogation with her within her universe. Goku became the focus of many rulers, which is why Zeno thought of sending him to receive training from Lucia. The hatred in the priest's heart increased after he heard this, and he was assigned to send Goku to Lucia's place of residence. Out of a forced motive, he sent him carrying his hatred towards Goku. 
At this moment, we find that Vegeta has finally made his decision. After a period of speculation, Vegeta takes his ship directly to his planet, of course to meet the king. Immediately after an hour of this event, Goku finally met Lucia, who is a second-class ruler, meaning she is on the level of angels. Goku was surprised to meet this angel and was shocked when he knew that she knew his name, and this is because he had become famous throughout all universes. Goku seemed to be curious to know the details of Lucia's personality. At this moment, she thought of telling him about her past. In a mysterious world within a mysterious planet known as Universe 19, there was a beloved and great-mannered ruler among their brothers called Rosie. This ruler was in a love relationship with her fellow ruler in the lower class called Rani. The two had an unparalleled bond and had achieved the highest levels of discipline in cosmic balance among all universes, so much so that they were even honored by the priest. The two received added and excellent value from everyone and they gave birth to the baby Lucia. But one of the angels felt a kind of jealousy that caused him great hatred towards the two of them, and he lost his mind because he did not achieve the attention he wanted. At every moment he tried to disguise himself with his factory features to arouse pity. To that point, an unprecedented assassination resulted that not only killed Ronnie, but also took Rosie's life. Since then, trouble and terror began to haunt Lucia from moment to moment. After each period, the evil's heart became more hardened, as it resulted in the killing of the rest of the angels. Despite the intervention of the rest of the rulers to confront him, his terrifying appearance was not affected by the combination of others. So far everything is bad until the following shock occurred, Zeno intervened. With an angry expression, he finished the villain immediately. Lucia learned from him all the skills related to governance. As she inherited the morals of her parents, she became friends with Zeno until she became superior to him. She was content with protecting her universe and finding the most suitable ruler who would play the role of her parents in morals and governance, which in this case is Goku. So you went through difficult times, I never imagined that I would meet someone truly on your level, this is expected. Goku, let me now suggest to you the idea that brought you to this place. I heard that you have become a ruler. This is good as a good person, but you lack some advantage. We need a ruler like you Goku in this universe. But I am implicitly charged with managing the universes. I have an idea. I can allocate one of the fighters that I have been with for a long time, who may be suitable for this position, as he is more interested in such things. Don't worry Goku, we will take care of that later. You can come with me and I will allocate a place for you to train with one of my friends. At this moment, one of the angels who provided assistance in her childhood comes forward. Goku was chosen to train under supportive conditions under the leadership of the Angel of Universe 16. He received a precious gift from Lucia, where he became immortal with his doubled strength as a reinforcement for him to accept this idea, and be able to manage the universes in an optimal manner. Well, it can be said that I am ready for training. I feel as if I have risen again. This is great to get this update going as well. Goku's training began to develop his skills and attacks, and according to some smart strategies, he will have to stabilize all his transformations in order to improve the effectiveness of his fighting in each transformation. Then he can advance to the next transformation. While the difficulty of training increases, at each level there is always an important step. Goku continued to target Ultra Instinct. Well Goku, your performance in training indicates that you have made a goal in your favor. Now it can be said that your level is prepared to receive different training. We will now focus on making your potential break your limits. Let's do that immediately! And see how far I can advance! Meanwhile, this affected the feelings of one of the ancient rulers. She is the ruler who conflicts with all beings on their level. Every time she try to incarnate at a better level among beings, she find that it is almost impossible. Not only did she accept this reality and self-sufficiency towards others, but she deviated from her job and became homeless until she became a witch, thanks to the union she formed with the rebellious angel before his death. Many years before the start of life for the Goku people, there was a ruler named Megami. This cunning angel expressed all kinds of hatred and hatred towards his brothers. He was not satisfied with his evil plans to obstruct the rest, but he formed his own group by working with the witch, where he broke the laws of nature by targeting great magic that is difficult to protect against. After Megami was erased by Zeno, this left a lasting memory in the witch's mind. And she began to take the souls of everyone who had high positions and lived a life full of magic. The witch understood that Goku's level had reached the highest levels of power. 
and she would have to find a way to bring down his position and expose everyone to the effects of magic, and in order to do that she made the right decision. It's super balls. She worked for many years to be able to stop the balls from working, as it seemed that the super balls had become unavailable due to the chains tied around it, which could be seen as imaginary and tighter chains. Looking at the prince's atmosphere, it seems that planet Vegeta has finally been spotted. The planet's inhabitants have regained their usual activity. Everyone lives wondering how they came back to life, especially King Vegeta. Vegeta came with an unknown motive, but it appears that he is heading towards the palace. Meanwhile, after a comprehensive analysis of the planet, Vegeta directly targeted his father, and he took his path towards the throne of King Vegeta. Vegeta bowed in front of his father, leaving everyone in a state of shock, the most important of whom was King Vegeta, who not only sat and watched his son, but quickly rushed towards him, hugging his son the prince. The separation between the two has been prolonged since the era of the occupation of the planet's lands. I am completely unable to understand what is going on. Congratulations on regaining your position, my father. You seem to be immersed in a confusion of secrets. Let us take a place for discussion. The two headed to a secluded place under the same roof and discussions began between the two. On planet Beerus, as usual, Whis continues to train Bardock with some new techniques and expose him to the atmosphere of training. The Scion has begun to understand the position of the rulers little by little, considering that Whis has the ability to restrain his strength at any level in order to fight Bardock on an equal footing in his training. It seems that Whis is working hard on this aspect in order to present Bardock as an improved gift to Goku. Vegeta was enjoying meeting his father, and Whis and Beerus were watching, thinking that Vegeta intended to bring his father. It is clear that he is interested in developing his father's abilities. This is likely. I hope he shows interest in himself, as I am eager to hand him the ruling position. After Vegeta was honored and welcomed by the rest of the inhabitants of the planet, he independently positioned himself on his throne near his father. After a short time had passed, the two took up a challenge to discover each other's level. Well my son, I was proud of you after you returned as a mature man. Do not disappoint me with your level of strength. Maybe you're joking dad. I hope you don't take this as a reason to meet your death. The king attacked at this moment out of exploration, but the return was not what he expected. Not only did Vegeta reveal a small part of his strength, but he rose to the highest form Super Saiyan Blue. The king was shocked in this situation after he discovered that his son the prince, had broken records and was rising. I had a hard time struggling to get over Kakarado. I was not only keen to occupy a better position towards him, but I worked hard to overcome Beerus as well. What? Beerus? Do you mean that cat that has taken up its occupation on this planet? Yes, our modern standards are almost beyond your little imagination, and I have come to you to adapt to what is happening in our current era my father. Let us follow a path for our homes. I have a lot to offer. With reference to the other side, after Goku was taken to the Chamber of Time, which allowed him to train for a full year, he was thus able to expand the scope of his training and assign him a special position. Goku's instincts interacted with the ruler's training atmosphere. At the time when Goku resulted in major differences, the witch set out to cast her curse on the seventh universe. She initially inactivated the balls to avoid using them as a weapon that is the opposite of what it will present now. She took a direct path with her magic to planet Earth, and targeted everyone on this planet, especially Goku's friends. Everyone who was exposed to her magic resulted in evil feelings that prompted him to kill innocent people nearby. Her curse was spreading everywhere and she indirectly manipulated the minds of earthlings within the place where they settled, all in order to tempt Goku and bring him down from where he was in her indirect way. Looking at the devastation that had befallen the people of Earth, Goku became angry, carrying a fire of rage in his heart. He will have to understand the reasons for this occupation and find a way to release the people of the land before it is too late. Zeno no longer monitors the conditions of the angels and their dealings with each universe as much as he has of course become focused on Goku's steps at every moment. Goku has become more steadfast and may gain more attention from Lucia. It would be great if you could come to meet us with this development. I'm more excited about it. Priest, we want to bring Goku. You can call him to come. We can't wait to see the results of his training. Well, Mr. Zeno, perhaps we will have to wait to see if Lucia's plans have been completed as desired. Don't forget that you are keen to make Goku more advanced and wise. Let's spend some time having fun, Zeno. You have spent an effort on yourself since watching Goku's steps. 
While the priest seemed to be more sympathetic and concerned towards Zeno, he had evil intentions towards him. What's more, he tried to tempt Zeno with some entertainment in order to give the witch a chance to cast her curse on Goku. Therefore, let's say that the priest's step for revenge was launched implicitly. It is clear that Goku has come to terms with his new form, and there is nothing left for Goku to fight for other than standing up and trying to confront the actions of the witch before it is too late. Thus, Goku was escorted to the original home, where the trio directly targeted planet Beerus in order to inform everyone of the truth of what is happening. Whis received the members of Universe 16 with the usual kindness, and the discussion began directly about what should be done to get out of this predicament. Listen Whis, Goku has risen to where you can see him as an ideal ruler. It is possible that this will open a path for him to stand in a fight against you, but I still bet that he lacks a little of our experience as angels. I tried to prepare him for rule after he achieved this appropriate level. But the truth is that something evil was hidden from the earthly people with a mysterious motive. I think the situation is very dangerous. In fact, we have come to you to receive an inquiry or a clear idea about what is going on. The reality that is happening to the inhabitants of the planet is almost bombarding the entire world. The Super Ball's effect has been disabled, Whis. It seems that the priest was the main reason for the result that the witch produced. After she worked to develop her skills with Megami, the priest contributed his support to this witch after she lost her position. Whis! Where is Vegeta? I should seek help from him to inform him of the truth. Well, Vegeta has taken his course to his planet. I have to bring it immediately, I will work on developing him as well. The fate of existence depends on you. That's for sure Wiss. By the way, where is my father? He is isolated in a place alone. The consequences of the earthlings have become severe and this has affected Bardock. Goku went straight to meet Bardock, motivated by the expectation of what he had achieved from Wiss's training. As soon as he was targeted, Bardock appeared to Goku with a confident expression, after the two had spent a full year training in the time chamber under the supervision of the finest rulers. Goku targeted his new style, but what about Bardock? Well done my son, because you are a hero for what you did. You seem different than usual. It is clear that you are more competent in the force. This is thanks to you my son. The challenge is still at stake. I will continue to raise more pressure. You must do your duty. Everyone depends on you my son. Goku set off and was chosen as the most suitable person to defend against this cause. Given the atmosphere of planet Earth, the witch's spell has spread throughout the entire planet, and she has targeted the most advanced individual with her magic, which is Gohan in this case. Gohan is no longer in danger as much as he himself has put others in danger, as he has become more ferocious towards other individuals. It has become difficult to confront him because he has become strong. In addition, his incarnation in this form as a vicious fighter has increased his performance in the fight, and it can be said that the extent of the current level of fighting has become more focused than before. After a discussion of getting to know each other and exploring took place between Vegeta and his father, the two went into a state of tension and anger as a result of what happened on planet Earth, and then the two were directed to planet Beerus by Whis, after the danger conditions were constantly monitored. Vegeta couldn't stand idly by and wait, but he thought about catching up with Goku. Here then he was prevented because it is apparent, of course that Vegeta's departure to planet Earth may result in him falling within the witch's habit, and thus resulting in the most harmful dangers after it will be seized. Unlike Kakaroto, who was greatly enriched in power from the ruler by possessing the advantage of immortality, which would allow him to be immune to her magic. So calm down Vegeta. This change was previously considered by one of my brothers, who invested her time in training Goku. We can wait until things go as it should. Kakarato? I had implicitly heard that name. By the way King, welcome to the world of modernity and development. Perhaps you will not be able to understand your new surroundings. I believe that Vegeta's idea of meeting you will gain you future advantages. Bardock was produced from special and developed knowledge after his inclusion on this planet by Goku. You can rely on the same approach to move up. What? Bardock? Vegeta, what does this being mean? I also heard that, my father, that bastard Kakarado sought help with the opportunity to develop his father's level. You may be surprised at how settled he is now, but I hope you won't disappoint me. You must get over Bardock father. I have to seek help from the Chamber of Time. I need to upgrade my father's level in a short time. Meanwhile, Goku manages to recognize Gohan as the evil doer of the witch's actions. Goku had no intention of fighting his son, 
but unfortunately the fate of others will force him to do so, in addition to the fact that Gohan's soul has been replaced by an evil spirit, so there is no choice but to fight to the death and find the source of this trouble. Once the fight began, Goku seemed to have more control over his opponent, and this is self-evident at the moment. One of the reasons for the confusion that Goku faces regarding this fight is this, which makes Goku continue to dodge Gohan's attacks. Although the two are constantly increasing in strength, Goku is still only warming up. Even if he did not fight with his full strength, it cannot be denied that he was capable of killing his son in the blink of an eye if he made the decision to do so. This is what actually happened, as the Angel of Universe 16 supported the idea of killing Gohan and ending it immediately. Meanwhile, Goku committed to his instinctive form and began to shed Gohan's blood. While things ended on this side, Lucia discovered the truth about the betrayal of one of the angels. You will have to make one of two choices, either to report the deception to Governor Zeno, or perhaps to assume the responsibility of finding the identity of this cunning angel. Given the witch's condition, she implicitly understood that betting on a fighter like Gohan would not result in what she wanted. Well, Goku, you got what you wanted. Now let's see how you will meet your counterpart. It seems that the witch was relying on the character of Gohan to force Goku to fight, in order to copy his abilities and embody them in her official support, who is a copy of the evil Kakarado, or rather Goku Black, at the angel level. The witch worked to create this version based on magic, thanks to which she received Goku's fighting strategy and even his way of thinking about fighting. How will Goku deal with this counterpart? It is clear that the challenge will become more intense between the two. The meeting was an unexpected surprise for Goku, given that his mission to save the Earthlings was limited to killing Gohan only in order to rid everyone of his evil, but the real truth here is that Goku's previous fight against Gohan is nothing but preparation for a fight. His evil version, which was created by the witch, motivated by her magical gains in Gohan, due to which she acquired Kakarado's skills and level. In general, Goku no longer realizes what is happening. He has achieved an unprecedented level thanks to his previous training, but all these gains have been comfortably included in his version. Well, you might be wondering about my identity as a clone fighter. You have occupied a position unbecoming of a rule. Your negligence and your responsibility for these universes will increase the possibility of killing you and killing your relatives. What? Who are you and what is the reason for your sudden appearance? I am you. I came with the motive of a commander to kill you. If you were betting on knowing more, let us see if you are able to forcing me to reveal my power. While the two were about to set off, all the rulers seemed to be anticipating what would happen. They had received this notice that threatened this existence, and as a result of unnoticed magic coming from the witch, everyone was confused. What is the source of this trouble and to what goal is all this evil being led? Do you think that everything is fine? What if this results in the destruction of this universe? You are fully aware that having the position of priest is something that requires carrying out the responsibility of everyone. Goku lacks this aspect with. Well Beerus, I really have to admit that Goku is not qualified for my father's power yet. But I believe that his perseverance in spreading safety in my surroundings is enough to qualify him on the path of gradual development well. It's clear that the villain version is a formidable enemy, and it's safe to say that Goku Black has the advantage in targeting the highest levels. It seems that every new story brings with it a dangerous threat that cannot be overcome. One of the newest characters may be a danger so far, which is what Goku is currently facing. Goku is no longer based on continuity as before. Apparently, his exposure to imminent danger could make him feel better. This is to increase his strength in every situation, although the energy level is equal between the two, but the competition between Goku and his evil counterpart depends on the feelings of each fighter, since Goku fights for everyone, so it is obvious that the return of his giving will exceed his counterpart, who relies on one goal, which is to fight for interest and position only. This is logical and expected. As Goku is a peaceful person, this has given him gains to manage peace and contentment for all universes. Meanwhile, Goku's victory has negatively coincided with the witch's thoughts, and there are no longer ways to find ways to eliminate Goku. Thus, Lucia set out to find the source of this trouble and examined all the universes differently in order to identify all the rulers of each universe until the source of this devastation was realized. Lucia did not hesitate to join in to inform Zeno of the case, who did not fully understand everything that happened after he was seduced by the priest by being amused, and neglecting to anticipate Goku's actions. Once Zeno reached the truth, he took a path to Universe 18, 
and the witch's actions were limited to one decision and one fate, which was to definitively end her existence. At that moment, the witch stood to reveal the truth of everything that was happening, and she declared with an honest face that the injustice happening in the universe currently was for the sake of assuming power. The witch has lived a miserable past since Goku became ruler. This caused her tyranny and her quest for revenge against Goku initially, and then Zeno. The witch remained silent to admit that the priest had something to do with this revenge, and she was categorically erased by Zeno. After a short time, the Super Balls regained their activity and were released once the control of magic was cut off. Goku went directly to Zeno's palace. Governor Zeno received the details of everything that had happened. Thus, Goku was enriched with more attention and appreciation. What's more, Zeno rewarded him with the highest position, which is to own the Super Dragon Balls and stand at the level of what is known as the Super Dragon Ruler. In other words, Goku will have complete freedom. In using the Super Balls whenever he wants and how he wants, this is among the greatest positions that a specific being below the level of Zeno can occupy. Of course, Goku made the decision to fulfill the wish to restore safety in life on planet Earth by using the Wish Balls. Everyone had a safe life. Goku is the most suitable person who can occupy the highest position among everyone, as he always thinks about maintaining safety at all levels more than he thinks about making himself a stronger position. Thus, let us say that Zeno's ignoring of the priest's order and his inclination towards Goku's order is truly an ideal choice, even if it was not with a serious and thoughtful motive between the two, because given the decision taken by Zeno, what is a feeling that stemmed from the friendship that binds him with Goku, nevertheless, the priest was not convinced of everything that happened. His plans failed and he lost hope for the witch. What plan could the priest include after everything that happened? Goku filled the priest's heart with so much hatred for taking away his honor. If Zeno does not realize the truth of what is happening, this hatred may turn into revenge. Meanwhile, on the planet Beerus, after a full day had passed, Vegeta spent a day, the equivalent of a full year in the Chamber of Time. Vegeta was able to invest his time in training his father and the two have achieved truly awesome levels. Welcome Vegeta, and you too O oh King. I think you are more advanced after everything that happened. The earthlings have been refreshed with good things after Goku's victory. You can enjoy from now on meeting your family. I am grateful for this opportunity. You have improved my father's standard. I would be interested in having a visit home. I have to meet Bulma and Trunks. I think getting my dad back will release a lot of happiness. See you later. Vegeta, where? Do you think that leaving this planet is the same as entering it? Let's see the fruits of your efforts. I am very thirsty to measure the level of my successor. At this moment, we find that Bardock is still in a training area. Two years of training within the Chamber of Time have passed so far. It should be noted that Bardock's intentions are completely different from the rest of the individuals. It appears that his intention is to gain the honor that he lost previously when his family was subjected to the most severe types of humiliation. Frieza blinked and failed to save his people. This would be a real incentive for Bardock that could surprise everyone. Vegeta explained how superior he was to his previous version, as he gained the power of the rulers and had the opportunity to be appointed as the ruler of the destruction of the seventh universe. What? I can't believe what's going on! I never imagined that you would hold this position my son. Do not be surprised my father, as this suits me in the first place, let us take a path to planet Earth. There is much waiting for you to explore. In the atmosphere of space, after Frieza monitored the truth about the recovery of planet Vegeta, he took a direct path towards his destination, with the motive of destroying this planet after it resumed its activity. On the planet Beerus Vegeta looks a little different. Apparently you've received your ruler status as well Kakarado. You seem to me like Bardock's son. Welcome King. It is good to see you near Vegeta, as he is in dire need of an incentive like you. Kakarado, I have no motive other than to stand in contact with you. I have stepped down to settle into my position as ruler, so let us taste the measure of our strength. While the two are about to fight, Wiz said, Goku, you have to act now. What's up Wiz? Planet Vegeta is in danger. I think Frieza violated the prohibitions again. His steps have been detected very close to the planet. He's about to get into his plans. You'll have to face it now. Kakaroto, if my coming will change much in the pride in my revenge, then leave this task to me my son. I fully realize that you are more sovereign than, but I am in dire need of retaliation. Thus, 
Goku united with his father, and then the two headed directly from the planet Beerus to the planet of their people, where they realized the place at the right time, and Bardock was indeed able to avenge himself from Frieza. By destroying him and protecting his people, the atmosphere ended as it should. Bardock felt proud, he has been honored in the meantime. Bardock was taken to Lucia's place of residence after Goku obtained approval from Zeno to prepare Bardock as a successor, and Bardock became immortal with the power of his unique destruction, Goku set off for the Land of Return, accompanying his father directly to the planet Beerus, where the two decided to organize a ceremony in honor of Goku and Vegeta's grandparents. Vegeta did not reconcile in the way he had planned, especially after he heard that Bardock had become a ruler of destruction. All of this destroyed his plans and his hope of making his father stronger after the two of them held training for an entire year in the room. However, given his priorities in bringing safety and stability to everyone, Bardock and Goku are more deserving of this level. Everyone started preparing to reveal the party that would be organized on planet Earth. After everyone arrived on the planet's lands, Trunks intervened, motivated by the discovery of the king. Trunks was shocked as soon as he received his grandfather. Their gazes coincided silently and unexpectedly, so Trunks could not comprehend the intensity of the similarity between his grandfather and his father. It seemed that everyone had expressed their readiness by organizing a large party on the occasion of meeting King Vegeta, who was being honored. An atmosphere of acquaintance began between everyone, and King Vegeta received noticeable attention from all individual. This formed a gap of exploration to look into his origin and position, which increased his interest. Therefore, Vegeta felt a kind of jealousy that he expressed towards his father, the king, as being more competent in creating an enjoyable atmosphere, and more than that. Bardock also gained added value to everyone after defeating Frieza. It seems that Prince Vegeta lacks this aspect more. It is worth noting that making the decision to bring his father is almost a matter of regret for Prince Vegeta. Anyway, the party continued as planned. Then the king came forward and said, Vegeta, I know why you isolate yourself from everyone's son. Sometimes we have to step aside from our pride and surround ourselves with good people. You have brought happiness to your family, son. There is nothing better than earning the love of your companion. It is good to say that, father. I am the prince. Let us make this occasion a stepping stone to progress, father. Vegeta has developed in terms of his level and strength and has been able to prove his worth at the level of government in Beerus' place. In contrast, Beerus has taken a path of sleep and inactivity for long periods of time. Kakarado, you are fully aware that your position as a priest is due to your companionship with Zeno. If you are betting that I am not right, then prove to me immediately who you are. Well, there's no problem with that Vegeta. Don't forget that you also had the deal to replace Beerus, as this is the result of his desire and thirst to hand you over to this position. Both Vegeta and Goku were in heated friction, and each one of them stood to prove how worthy he was of his own position. Of course, given the status of the prince, who is characterized by excessive confidence, he is commensurate with Goku's level, as he was of course exposed to the most types of training under the supervision of the finest rulers. However, Goku tried to go along with Vegeta's stereotypical thinking just to convince him that what he had was enough to satisfy him as a ruler of destruction. At a time when the bilateral conflict is taking place. In Zeno's palace, the priest's monitoring of Goku's conditions and the way he is coping with his position as king. This did not only make the priest feel jealous, but also the place Vegeta had reached caused psychological damage to the priest, who saw that positions were no longer given to ideal people at the appropriate times. Therefore, let us point out that the flames will burn more intensely in the priest's heart, and it is possible that this will awaken a monster in his heart due to his intense resistance to everything that happens in the seventh universe, which is of useless benefits. The priest went to Zeno to reveal the truth about what was happening on the planet Beerus, as Vegeta had taken his place under illegal circumstances and with a decision not ordered by Zeno. Welcome Mr. Zeno. Perhaps you are enjoying after Goku has passed stages for the benefit of all universes, especially the seventh universe. This is something that deserves appreciation, but allow me to raise an objection regarding this universe. The wisdom of coexistence in this universe has given way since we began to see that positions are given randomly. 
Beerus has retired according to the successor who receives his status as ruler. It is unfortunate Mr. Zeno that Goku did not care about these matters, or is it possible that he is concerned about his relatives? I will not ignore such legal violations in considering these issues. Zeno's features changed after he heard everything that happened between Beerus and Vegeta. The priest was satisfied with Zeno's positive response, simply because he was looking forward to finding all possible means to topple Goku's position in the first place. Meanwhile, on the planet Beerus, while this ruler is enjoying his free time and under a relaxed atmosphere, Zeno intervenes out of a sudden impulse. Beerus had no chance to prove his right in making Vegeta ruler, so Beerus was outright erased. The rest of the comrades were shocked. Whis was shuddered as soon as he received this shocking shock after he had fun times with his skinny comrade. This had a noticeable impact on everyone, especially Whis. Everyone has reached the truth about what is happening with Governor Vegeta, but the problem that must be set aside to explore is what was the motive that influenced Zeno to submit his objection regarding Governor Vegeta. Thus, Goku set off targeting Zeno's palace, as he is the ruler, so it is possible that priorities will be given to him in convincing Zeno. The Daishinkane was subjected to Goku's interference, and he stood up with a false expression and said that he had nothing to do with him. Hello Mr. Goku, it is strange to see you here after a long absence. What brings you here? Well priest, in fact, I have to submit a personal report to Mr. Zeno. It is best that we make our way to him immediately. Zeno Sama Zenchan, sorry. We did not realize the seriousness of the situation until it was too late. By the way, I came to offer some kind of apology. I have neglected the running of the universes recently, and I have received news that you have destroyed Beerus. Can you undo this Zeno? Please, I will fix all this trouble for you. Well, Mr. Goku, it is good that you are interested in creating balance after all this devastation, but what is your relationship to the matter? There is no problem linking you to what Beerus committed. I may be far from the cause of such problems, but do not forget that I am a ruler and I can take care of this aspect. Okay Goku, as long as you are my friend, I will undo everything that happened to you. Mr. Zeno, allow me to offer a special opinion for your benefit. It's okay Goku whatever you want, but there are some conditions. You know that you have risen to a high position since you occupied this position, and it is interesting that Zeno has become attached to you since that period. It would be great if we included a challenge between you and me. If you defeat me, the decision to recover Beerus is the first thing you have to do, but if you lose, you have no choice but to refrain from your request. What do you think Zeno? Yes yes, this will be more exciting Goku. I am very excited to see your measurements in front of the priest. Well, no problem, let's hurry to take on this challenge. Zeno and Goku accepted the priest's invitation, ignoring the fact that the priest intended to take this challenge by implementing his plans for revenge. A more suitable place for the fight was prepared and everyone stood ready to receive what would happen. A fight between Goku and the priest, who is undoubtedly one of the strongest characters in the universe. The priest's plan coincided negatively with this fight, and it seems that his plans to kill Goku began to fade little by little. The priest's anger exploded with incredible power, and massive destruction spread, which cost Goku a great effort. There was no longer any hope of standing against him. Meanwhile, the priest's intentions worsened beyond what could be believed, until Zeno was placed in a state of danger, exposed to assassination by the priest. This was done by imprisoning them under the pretext that fighting would be more dangerous for them, but the truth is that the priest took his side step in completely wiping out Zeno's palace. It is important to note that Zeno is not a fighter during this disaster. After the situation intensified, Wiss realized that there was no point in standing with his hands folded and watching what was happening. Everyone was disappointed in the priest. That's why Wiss decided to use Dragon Ball Super to fulfill a wish that he would hire an assistant to rid everyone of this disaster. He actually made this decision and the mission was completed successfully. On the other side, Goku almost lost his control, and he fell in his struggle against the priest. The priest was about to end the situation once and for all after he detained Zeno, and in the end, what was expected was happen. Suddenly, a person appeared who looked very similar to Zeno. This person came thanks to Wiss after he fulfilled the wish, meaning that he was dead and has now been brought back to life to perform what he came for. This stranger fought the priest with his true power, and the area was destroyed, while Goku was contemplating this being in amazement, 
wondering where he came from and where he possessed this power, because Goku had barely come close to his victory, but this person who is facing him now is someone who is superior to him in level. Thanks to this, the priest was defeated and he fell extremely exhausted. This being did not hesitate to erase the priest, as he possessed this technique and was able to actually erase the priest from existence completely. Immediately after this situation, the situation calmed down and everyone intervened asking the creature about his identity. Goku finally discovered that he was Zeno's father. In fact, Whis had brought not only Zeno's father, but also his mother. Whis thought about bringing them to support Zeno in this palace. After what happened, Goku was somewhat sad about what happened, he trusted the priest and believed that he was in fact a person who thought about everyone's interests, but he did not stop there and wanted to know the reason for the priest's betrayal. But now he has been erased, so he begged Zeno's father to bring the priest back to life, but he claimed that he was unable to do that. Anyone who was erased cannot be restored in the same way, so Goku thought about using the super wish again, then he fulfilled his wish to restore the priest to life, and not only that. But Goku thought of hiding a surprise for the priest if he revealed the truth, and Goku took a secluded place with him, so that the discussion took place in a sensitive area on the subject of the priest's betrayal of everyone. Indeed, Goku discovered the reason for everything that happened, since he became king, the priest was no longer respected and his status was not appreciated. His status was dropped, and everyone began to respect only Goku. This made the priest think recklessly. So Goku understood the situation and felt for the priest, and then the invitation to keep the priest alive was accepted, and in fact Goku did something very good, which was that he brought his wife back to life as well, which surprised the priest, as the absence between the two lasted for many years. Thus, Goku succeeded in the task of restoring the priest, and then convincing Zeno of the situation, not only that, but Goku rewarded Beerus by restoring his family, so everyone was now equal. The situation stabilized and everyone returned to their designated place. Beerus lived a good life with his family and family members. Thus, Goku was at ease and lived as a king. He was also appreciated and things went as they should. Conditions remained like this for many weeks. Suddenly there was a change in existence. It seemed that some tyrants had spread throughout the places. The entire existence and they began to distort all places by destroying and colonizing places, and the first of this place was the planet Beerus, in which a strange being appeared, which urged it to spread his destruction and sabotage Beerus' property. Beerus failed to bring down the opponent. It seems that Beerus is able to block his opponent's attacks, avoiding his blows easily. Beerus even spent less time training than sleeping, but his level is still stable. After much suffering, the fighting ended safely and the planet Beerus became free of the evil one. On planet Vegeta, the prince and Bardock entered into a strange conflict, as the opponents appeared in a very strange form, considering that the source of this evil relied on cloning the abilities of Bardock and King Vegeta. The opponent has revealed his cover and has emerged in his true form as the evil king of Sion. While the fight between the two is about to begin, we find that Bardock and his evil counterpart are in an intense fight. It is good to say that Bardock became more focused after his meeting with Governor Goku, so his fight with his evil version would force him to unleash his full abilities, and this is what actually happened. Bardock was not able even for a moment to go a step further in his transformation to put an end to the battle. We find that Vegeta is more dominant in front of his father. Given the prince's dominant abilities, the fight did not last for a while because in short the prince had no patience in a ridiculous fight. The opponents are finished and Jiren's opponent remains. Jiren and his opponent took an empty place, so that now everything was ready, while the fight took place in this area, Beerus and was headed to check on Goku and look into Gohan's tragic condition. It seemed that everyone knew the truth of what happened, and therefore the sadness affected the individuals in an effective way. What happened to you? I think you have also faced opponents. A group of fighters has spread throughout this existence. I do not know where they came from. Whis, in reality, a very strange being appeared, who looked like a king, but I did not know him. He beat me and also put others in danger. I could not resist the situation. He was very strong, and I had never seen him in this presence at all. Son Goku, don't worry, my arrival is keen on what you want, I will be assigned to Gohan's case. At this moment, Whis revived Gohan, and he also revived Goku, who had drained a lot of his energy. After the situation stabilized, Goku asked about the conditions going on with Vegeta, 
so the trio thought about heading directly to the destination and seeing if the Scion planet was safe. Targeting this destination, after Bardock and the fake King Vegeta were eliminated, a mysterious being entered, accompanied by his companion, and the two introduced themselves. They were directed to this place for the purpose of carrying out their mission. The discussion took place with the intruders until Bardock discovered that the two strangers were evil and had come to this place for the purpose of eliminating Bardock. Bardock realized that the situation was beginning to get out of his control, and then they caught him and opened a hole to another world in order to rationalize Bardock out of a compulsive motive. Bardock resisted hard until he was possessed by the two of them, hidden from sight in another world. The lights shone again on the rest of planet Vegeta, and Goku came to Beerus and Whis to check on this planet. Goku wondered about Vegeta's conditions, but he was immediately surprised after he discovered that Bardock was missing and that there was no idea where he was now. Goku has not achieved self-sufficiency, so he will have to dig deeper to find his father. At the time when Goku and Vegeta decided to leave, someone intervened, changing Vegeta's features instantly. Vegeta, where are you going? Don't you want to meet your mother? She is Krina, Vegeta's mother, whose non-existence in the history of the Dragon Ball series. The prince never imagined this meeting throughout his life because in short, he lost his mother since childhood and lived near his father's throne as an orphan. He was shocked once he discovered that what he was now facing were his real parents. The discussion continued about his family members and Krina felt restored just realizing that her son had a family, but once she realized that he was still weak compared to Kakaroto, she felt jealous and was not satisfied to hear that Vegeta always refrained from saving everyone in the world. Extreme cases however, Krina admired the character of Kakarado, who was the main reason for killing Frieza. Vegeta then became angry and impatient to hear these words. What do you think priest? Everyone has become obsessed with Goku. This is something that is easy to understand. He has reached a point where he is able to fight me. Isn't all this worthy of appreciation? Well, actually, I'm starting to fall in love with him a little. He's a brave and good boy. Not bad but I hope we can focus on developing our relationship. While the priest was discussing Goku's matter with his wife, Goku went directly to Zeno's palace and insisted on meeting him to find Bardock. Zeno's father was also affected by the death of one of his sons because of what happened. Goku wondered if Zeno's father knew about the issue of the other worlds and which world the missing Bardock could be found in. As Zeno's father, he observed the situation that took place when Bardock was kidnapped and recognized the identity of the intruders through their descriptions. He was mentioned as follows. The demon world is among the most dangerous worlds, and I believe that there are leaders more ferocious than me in that world. You must be careful and be careful not to cause any disturbance in case you are positioned in front of the ruler. I will direct you directly to the demon world, and I hope that you will accomplish your mission as quickly as possible. Zeno's father extended his hands towards Goku and then sent Goku to the demon world with the aim of finding his missing father. How will Goku behave there? There are more dangerous kings in that place and Goku is on a dangerous mission alone. We will complete this story in episode 2. Comment by answering this question. What made the bad guys kidnapped Bardock? Beerus will have to leave his family because he has regained his position as ruler and there is no chance to settle down with his race because in short they must return to their original planet. This was not something that meant satisfaction for Beerus, but there is no other option. Peace was made between everyone, and Beerus' father announced his promise to protect Beerus' people from any harm. Everyone left in peace and happiness. In the world of demons, Goku fell into this world out of a random motive in a dark area. Goku did not stop with his hands crossed, but he set off on an exploratory process to find any being. The Scion seemed confused about a certain feeling, as there was someone chasing him with a faint motive. While Goku was using his concentration to catch his pursuer, this strange being launched an invisible attack. I knew exactly you were behind the trees. What the reason for this intervention? I think that I am the one who has to ask you in the strange coming. Your crossing this world is a violation of the rights of us. So you are also a demon? Well, where is Bardock? I know very well that you are aware of the matter. Why the rush? Let me first introduce myself. My name is Dimera, and I am the guardian of this world. Our system as demons is different from the rest of the worlds, and this is because all of our abilities allow us to anticipate the conditions of this entire world. You should realize that I am sent by the king of this world, 
and perhaps you would be surprised if you knew that he was the one who came up with the idea of kidnapping Bardock. All you have to do now is follow me to get a personal letter from the king. Maybe he has a gift for you. At this moment, Demera opened a gate, moving to the king's place of residence, and then set off. Goku arrived at the Demon King's palace, and the place seemed even more strange. Apparently, the Scion and Demera entered the interior of the palace and met the gatekeeper. Welcome Goku. We look forward to meeting you in our designated place. Well done Demera. This is my own business Mira. He came for Bardock. Well I do not hope that the king will accept this request after Bardock was kidnapped. So you have accounts with us, Goku. Accounts? What do you mean? Wait until I send a report to the king about your visit. Mira told the demon king the truth about Goku's entry into the demon world. This king received the news with some joy and decided to summon Goku to an empty place. The discussion took place between him and Goku personally. If you are the one who has these ideas son Goku, I do not think that you have any intention of fighting me. Let us discuss the matter of your father carefully. He is safe and has been imprisoned in a place by one of my soldiers. I watched your steps as soon as you attained the position of king. Listen carefully to what I have to say. The demon king proposed a devilish idea to Goku. Due to the level of power that Goku had reached, he suggested to Goku that he join the world of demons and coexist as one of them, but Goku refused, and all he was concerned about was getting his father back. Thus, if you want Bardock, why not restore him by force? Degra, carry out your mission now. The Demon King imprisoned Goku in an empty place. In addition, he brought with him one of the King's soldiers. Goku will have to fight an opponent if he wants to receive Bardock. If he loses the battle, he has no interest and his fate is to remain lost in this world. The fight started and the opponent seemed more fierce. However, Goku maintained his energy balance and was content with his average form. After the situation intensified, the intensity rose to the level of instinct, and all that remained was to present the final touches. At this moment, Goku fell to the ground, and the reason was due to the devil, who received an order from the king to knock Goku unconscious, and this is because the king was keen to keep Goku due to his dominant level. Goku has been arrested, how can we help him now? He is now in a place where there are kings stronger than me? Zeno's father became angry and was undoubtedly thinking of planning an intervention. On planet Beerus, after Prince Vegeta had a meeting with his mother, Kirin, he made his way back to settle next to Beerus, who took time to bathe after being isolated from his family relationship. Whis, I feel as if something is bothering me about Goku. His power level has completely ceased to exist. Maybe he has taken a path beyond this world. I have to admit, he has struggled a lot. He often worrying about the sake of his loved ones. At this moment, Whis received an incoming call from Zeno's father. Whis would have to come to Zeno's palace for an essential appointment with the father of Zeno. Meanwhile, at Zeno's palace. Father, don't you think that the idea of seeking help from this world's warriors might expose us to danger against the demon world? You have no business in my plans. Goku has been a source of stability for this world, and there is no other choice but to declare a comprehensive war against the demons. Both Beerus and Whis will have to go first and destroy the world of demons. This will allow me to determine an appropriate time to head directly towards Goku, and then I will untie him. The king did not have time to send his first attack. At these times, the king received a report of an emergency situation, as a group of individuals had infiltrated their crossing into the world of demons, and who came at the request of Zeno's father. The demon king became angry at these times and announced that he would wage a collective war against the intruders. The intruders were received by Dimera the guardian of this world, and he transported everyone to the ruler's place of residence so that the interview and discussion could take place in a smooth manner. After everyone arrived at the king's area, we found that there was a tree with roots, and on top of it was the king's palace, while Goku was trapped in the heart of the tree in a mysterious place. Hello and welcome to our distinguished guests. I did not imagine that crossing this world would be easy for you. You disturbed me, and I do not think that your exit will be peaceful. Listen sir, we are very calm now. All we have to do is discuss the matter. What is the motive that makes you detain Goku and Bardock? Well, Bardock's case does not concern me at all, and now he is still safe. As for Goku, he fainted and will remain so as long as he is crucified with magical chains, and this is because he dared to think of fighting me. I am keen to incorporate him into my soldiers. Whis, I do not think that negotiation will lead us to what we want. If what you claim is true, then prepare now. A group fight has begun between all individuals. 
The world of Zeno against the world of demons. How will this combat combination end? The two fighters have been included in one fight. Prince Vegeta took up a fight against his demonic counterpart, which cost the prince a lot of effort in fighting him. In the meantime, we see that Beerus is more fanatical about fighting him, which is something that encourages goodness and cooperation, because it is rare to see Beerus fighting for Goku, and it seems that Goku left a positive imprint on everyone's mind. While the fighting continued between everyone, the Demon King decided to make his first move. In the meantime, the King's anger was immediate and he decided to intervene directly, as he headed through his destination directly to the location of Goku, which the demons had neglected to guard. After the outbreak of war, Zeno's father was able to save Kakarado until he realized this rare encounter. I did not intend to cause this trouble, but I will sacrifice myself to end your situation. The king received an attack that made him end up in a bad situation. He became remarkably angry until he gave up his true form. The two directed their maximum attack, and Mirio descended into a state of overwhelming resistance. Demon anger resulting his energy spark, threw Zeno's father down to the ground, and most of the fighters were seriously injured. There is only one being left standing. It is Goku. Mirio. I think that the equation does not accept a solution in your favor. You must accept your defeat, leaving Goku to me. I am thirsty to keep him for my property. Don't dream about it. As long as you are still alive, you will find me annoying you. If this is your final decision, then allow me to kill you. Stop. You will not get away with this. I have to admit that I am the cause of all this trouble, so I will not agree to leave. In the meantime, the priest made contact with Governor Mirio, and he obtained permission to come to the demon world, accompanied by a large group of rulers, in order to increase the chances of victory. The priest set off and Zeno's father also volunteered to hand over part of his power to Goku, so let us point out that the result will truly be terrifying. Guardian Demera stepped down to cast his magic on Goku. As a result, the priest intervened to prevent this event, and all that remained was to prepare to attack Goku's new form. It is the awaited moment at which everyone shudders. The Demon King formed a large energy gap that was combined by all the demons, so he decided to make his final move, which could destroy this ocean, drowning Goku and the others in massive destruction, but the opponent ended up evaporating in the hollow of the energy sparks. Goku fainted at this moment after draining everything he had. In the end, everyone was happy after the evil of the cursed demons from all beings had ended. Well done Goku, because you are a noble fighter and deserve our greatest thanks. Everyone decided to take their own path towards finding Bardock, who was locked in a gate bound with magical shackles, but once the Demon King was eliminated, this magic was broken, so everyone discovered a place containing many prisoners. Goku met his father Bardock, and the two discussed the situations that took place with them in every aspect. Goku was not satisfied with his father only, but he discovered the rest of the individuals. Some of them realize that the prison is from the homes of other worlds, and some of them are from the world of demons as well. Among the most important characters, we find Senro and Laura, who are one of the rulers of another world, which is a world ruled by one of the most powerful rulers. Everyone left to his private residence, and Bardock was taken to the home of Planet Vegeta, and the family was happy again. Goku did not stop there, but he surprised Whis by bringing his wife back to life after she had been imprisoned, which caught Whis's attention and left him in a state of amazement. Whis lived happily with his wife. Thus, happiness returned to everyone, and everyone lived with their own family. This is where this story ends guys. Tell us in the comment how many episodes you have watched. Wait for the new story. Thank you for your support and see you later.